They're testing Disney Springs today and all the tickets were sold out. I tried in the app all morning and then I remembered <laughs> there's a ticket counter at our hotel. So I went to the hotel and they did have a ticket left for today. So here we are. Guys, oh my God, we made it. Oh my God. Hey, cool. Hey, cool.
my god. The lookout cookout. Just the details everywhere in this land are absolutely like, oh my God. I'm so happy that we have the skull rock here. Like we, oh my God, look at that. Crocodile dock. I'm so glad that we have the ship and the skull like we do in Hong Kong or like we do in Paris, sorry. There it is. Just look at the detail on that sign. Oh my god. But god, look at that entrance. It's so gorgeous. Look at the detail even on the Popcorn stands. Oh my god, roast beef popcorn. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Welcome to Arendelle. Mm. Just like even like the floor, it's cobblestone here. Oh my god. It's like a complete transformation. Just a few more details. Look at this. Look at the side here, the side of the walls. Oh my gosh. All that trellising, the foliage here. We got some nice blue uplighting accents in the trees. Oh my gosh. We have some instrumentals from you know from the soundtrack some of the infamous songs here that you can hear kind of in the background and then here we go we get the view of the ice castle up there oh my god this feels like it's going to be an iconic reveal hearing uh, Into the Unknown here in the background. And just, like you can just feel the excitement that now we've changed floors again and we have these nice patterns here or the Arendelle Crest. Everybody is taking photos and you can hear that nice instrumental music in the background. Oh my God. And look at these, even the fountains. And here's the banquet hall, oh my gosh.
people already playing with these. I wonder if these are gonna last. <laughs> Elsa's frozen journey. Oh my god. What do we got? What's the wait time? 20 minutes. That's insane. Oh my god. The wait time is posted as 20 but I don't think that's correct because they're not letting people inside right now. Oh, just kidding. Oh, right there. Look at that. Oh, the queue is beautiful. Look at these nice uplighting and the panels on the floor. And everything's blue, so I think at night we're going to have a nice blue tint. Oh, and here's the eating area for the... Royal Hall, oh my gosh. Look at the eating area, it's so cute. Wow. Even up to the lighting in the ceiling up there. Yeah, it's so nice. Look at this facade work though, and the moon, oh my gosh. the spires and it's hard to see but there's the stained glass up there as well all right we're running out of daylight so I'm gonna run and get the last areas before we lose daylight and then we can't see anything on the cameras. Oh god, this castle is gorgeous. Oh. Everything is gorgeous. Okay, here's the moat. Look at this view. <laughs> And look at the town view from here. It's gorgeous. And then the hotel in the background. Okay, that is cool. Everything here is so picturesque. And there's so many excellent reveals around each corner where you, you know, are walking into a, it's like this. So we have this nice, expansive reveal here, but then we get to walk into an area that closes it off with the, using these natural foliage and trees area before it expands out again. So we get that diversity as you're walking. Oh my gosh. Look at this, it's absolutely wild. Okay, I'm gonna wander down this area before I go into the town just because this also looks insane. Oh my God, I can't right now. Oh my God, look at this hotel. Oh my God. No. Oh my God. Lord help us. Oh my God. That is gorgeous. Just imagine staying here and just walking into the park via your own entrance and having this greet you every day. Oh my God.
Here's the hotel entrance. Well, look at that, gorgeous. Everything is gorgeous. Um, I'm gonna keep walking this way. Oh my God, look at the sculptures. There's the dragon. One more time, I'm gonna do this really fast. I'm gonna run over here to this sculpture. It looks like the Fantasy Springs Gifts is open. Oh, it is Ariel, look at that. Look at that gift shop. Gorgeous. I need more adjectives because there's only so many times I can say gorgeous. the caterpillar and Alice. Wallace! Okay, check out this transition here. Again, these little things are so incredible. Have all this forest here in the side and we're transitioning from that area and then it's just so seamless here. Little cobblestone and now we're into the streets of Arendelle. Look at that. Still got some of these uplighting here in the trees, but just enough to lead us into the streets. And oh my gosh, oh, look at that. <laughs> Look at these streets. Oh my gosh. Absolutely incredible. Oh, cleverly disguised restrooms. But just look at the buildings. Oh my, everything is just incredible. It's crazy. I like how you have this little area here. Look at, I like how we have the sled and we have little flowers. It's very themed. I'm not sure what it's for, but I imagine it would be great to stand under when it's hot outside during the summer. Oh my gosh. Here's the money shot. Look at 
these boats. I like this little miniature dock here. Oh my gosh, that's great. Sled, look at people taking pictures in the sled. So cute. Oh, Hawaii. Oh, look at the clock. And I'm not sure if you can hear it with the mic on, but there's a lot of crickets and like evening sound also pumped in here. Um, I mean, I didn't notice it and you know, I'm actively looking for it. I noticed it, but I think just like this stonework here, I think that it's so natural that you wouldn't really notice it, especially when there's so many people and you have all that noise from the people. You know, I don't think you would really, it wouldn't be overbearing but it's just those little touches that make you, again, feel like you've transitioned into a different area, even though it's still the same land. All right. We are walking fast. Oh, here's the back of Skull Rock. Let's see if I can get in the last few things before it gets too dark. Oh, here we go. Let's check out this food area. What is this? Snuggy. Snuggy duckling. Just got a scoop in here to get a little bit of. Okay. Oh. 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 And here it is. That's a really cute sign. Okay. Wow. is crowded. Oh my gosh. Here it is. The Rapunzel's Lantern Festival. The ride, stand by for it. Oh. oh my gosh, look at this tower. Wow, look at that tower. Wow. 
Wow. There's Pocahontas. The volcano is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, we didn't make it on this earlier. Here's the ship. I know it's a little dark, but um, let's just uh, walk in. There's this little pathway right next to Skull Rock, and check that out. What a great view. Let's uh, let's check it out. Wow, you did get a nice view of Skull Rock here. I mean, it's plenty of bright. Oh, look at that! A little photo off there. You can put your hand in the hook. That's cute. snoring. the ship. Ah. Okay, that was cute. Just like how it's going to work when the land is officially open, um, you can't get on any other rides unless you have a standby pass or a priority pass, and the standby passes are free. The priority passes you pay for, it's kind of like G+. Plus. And, um, you need to enter the park before you can even register for a standby pass. Uh, and you know, so your ticket's activated, and then you go into the app and you link it and you look for it. So no standby passes are available, no um, premier passes are available either. Uh, so all of the wait times, that's for people that have the standby pass already reserved. So that's okay. <laughs> so they're only accepting mobile order at the banquet hall here and uh, also at the Duck Restaurant, mobile order is not available. Um, I'm not sure if it's not available because it's completely full or full for the evening or it's not available just because of, I'm unclear <laughs> why it's not available. Uh, it's completely full or not, I don't know. But uh, we'll keep going around to the other restaurants and see if we can find something. Okay, we were, we were successful with this one here, 850 yen though is a little, Pricey though, but Oaken's okay foods. I mean, it's pricey comparatively speaking. That is less than six dollars. So it's uh, described as cardamom and meat, and I think it is actually literally cardamom and meat. You can actually, it's, the cardamom is a very strong flavor. So essentially, it's like it's like a bread. So I'd say a little bit um, more bread-like than a hot dog bun, but. Um, same sort of concept, it's a hot dog concept in that there's cardamom and meat in the middle of this bread. And like I said, it's not the same consistency as that, it's a bit more like a pastry. So it's, I think it's more akin to what you'd expect, like a, um, mean, like a meat pie type of consistency. 
but I like it. I like it because I like the taste of cardamom, so the cardamom is very strong, so it's a little, it's a little sweet on the sweeter side. It's like that, that mix between a sweet and savory type of a meat pie type of thing, so there you go. Check it out. Okay, so I came over to the Lookout Cookout to try one of the dishes here, but it looks like they're already closed. They said that these, uh, these quick service restaurants are gonna close an hour before, and it is 8 p.m. right now, and the park closes at nine, so I just missed it. <laughs> so, but you can see it does look kinda cool in here. Maybe a little bit of a look around at that. You can see it's a nice themed seating area in here, especially I like the lighting fixtures in the ceiling. Almost nine, my other camera dying, so we're gonna wrap it up here. I might, on my way out, try and get some of that roast beef popcorn, but thank you all so much for watching. I know that Attached Magazine has full ride throughs of the rides if you're curious, even though I didn't get to do them tonight. You can still see what they look like. Thank you for watching.